hello. Tonight, in a bizarre cross-televisual genre experiment, there's been a murder, which the teams have to solve by completing an aqua assault course while simultaneously singing a song and baking a cake. Not really. It's going to be harder than that. This is the only Connect final. I'm joined by two teams whose skills are legendary, the battle's going to be epic, and the prize is the stuff of myth in that it doesn't exist. <laughs> Battling for it anyway, on my right, Ian Clark, a former deputy judge who once fell down a storm drain in Thailand. Sam Goodyear, a history graduate and Star Trek fan who was once offered a piece of birthday cake by Pete Doherty. And their captain, Mark Walton, a geography graduate and cricket fan who was reprimanded in his youth for stealing Ulrika Johnson's chocolate biscuits. United by a love of the French, they are the Francophiles. Mark, you've had a clear run to the final. You haven't lost a game. If you had to give your teammates one piece of advice going into this final, what would it be? Just do what we've been doing, you know? It's, it's worked so far, so uh, fingers crossed it will continue. Quite right. You're going to do what you've been doing against, on my left, Beverly Downs, a former scout leader who writes a food blog and is the girlfriend of... David Pritchard, a Cardiff FC supporter and former business support manager who is not related to Hugh Pritchard, the captain, an accomplished choral singer who enjoys gardening and walking in the countryside with his whippet, Ted. United by their passion for Wales, they are the Celts. Hugh, you've also come to the final undefeated. What's been your favourite game? Well, it has to be the semi-final that, uh, that got us here. We know what a phenomenal challenge this, uh, this quiz is and... Um, we're hoping that the good form we're in will continue this evening. This is, of course, going to be quite a difficult match. I hope everybody's had fish for dinner. <laughs> we'll be starting with round one, Francophiles. You won the toss, you have the dubious pleasure of going first. Which hieroglyph would you like? Horned Viper, please. Horned Viper, the music question right at the top of the final. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. <laughs> Next. Next. Snow White. Next. Next. Seven. 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 Lucky number seven is the answer. What did we hear? Uh, seven Brides for Seven Brothers was the second one. Well, so it was what? Bless Your Beautiful Hide from Seven Brides yeah. for Seven Brothers, yeah. Someday My Prince Will Come from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Mm -hmm. And then The Magnificent Seven at the end. Theme from The Magnificent Seven. And the first one? The theme from the sure. film Seven. <laughs> no, it was The Girl Upstairs from The Seven Year Itch. Ah. Yes, all from films with seven in the title. Celts, your turn to choose a question. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next. I don't know what Paul Morphy is in relation to. No. Next. Next, please. Are they world champions or something? No, I don't think so. Go for, go for the last one so we can have a... Next again. Oh, is it some degrees of separation? Yes, should we try that? Well, no, no, no. Three seconds. Hmm? Acted without your plate with that, I don't know. They, they form a link with other players. They form a link with other players. Degrees of separation. That's it. They're the central figures in collaboration networks. So Kevin Bacon is a famous one, of course, degrees of separation. But with mathematics, Paul Erdos, you know, he wrote papers with other people who wrote with other people who oh, wrote with other people. Okay. With chess and go, you can judge how far you are away from that player by who you've played, that they've played, that they've played, oh, and so great. on. Central figures in collaboration networks. So you get a point as well. Back to you, Francophiles, to pick a question. Uh, twisted flax. Twisted Flax, what's the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Oh, there's a film that's in okay. a Next. Wait, I don't know. Next. 
Oh, what's that about there? Uh, that's Jamaican. Jamaican. Bob's 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 Bob
the flag. And the wording on the flag. The flag represents a country that is created by adding something to the, the, the name of the country that's shown. That is it. The name of the country shown is contained within mm. the name of the country whose flag we're seeing. It's Somalia, Somalia, Dominican Republic, Nigeria, and Romania would have been the last one. Yeah, brilliant with Oman hidden in it. So, well done. You add letters to get the name of the country whose flag we're seeing. So, at the end of round one, the Francophiles have got one point. The Celts are ahead with five. <laughs> Wales and France will continue to do battle through round two. The sequence is round. This time they may see only three clues at the most before telling me what comes forth. Francophiles, you'll be going first again. Which question would you like? Twisted flax. Twisted flax. What would be fourth in this picture sequence? What would you expect to see there? Here's the first. Next. I'm going to go next. Just ED, just ED. No, Ed, Ed is with two Ds. Ed Duck is with two Ds. No, no, no. It is Nelson Eddy. Is it Nelson Eddy? Three seconds. E. That's not it, I'm afraid. Celts, you want to go for a bonus? Gosh, I didn't think we'd be asked. Um, Ed. No, Ed. you don't have anything. I can't no, no, give no. you that long. You are so in the right area. Mm. We're looking at Cheddar, Hedda Garbler. Oh. Ed the duck. We're taking a letter off each end and you want oh, no. D. Oh. Because C and R come off cheddar to make header. H and A come off to Unlucky. make E, D, D, Ed the duck. D, oh. we had a snooker D, but any kind of D would have been the answer. Unlucky. Oh, <laughs> All right, Celts, what would you like this time? Oh, crumbs. Um, lion, please. <laughs> lion, OK. <laughs> right, what is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. OK. Well, it's the past. It was a campaign yeah. started in 1915, and it's in Turkey, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Next. Oh, hang on. Yes. Isn't is it Sea of Marmara along the? Um, is not there a sort of um, a chain of um, yeah, lakes or a piece of stretches of water? Anyway, Marmara. next. Uh, so I think you're then going into the Black Sea. I think okay. it's Dardanelles, Sea of Marmara. Uh, it might be the Black Sea. So, or it's maybe going the other way. But it's, it's, it's jig, Black Sea. Black Sea. Is the correct answer. Do you know why? Well, there are areas of water in, in sequence going probably from the Mediterranean towards the Black Sea, is it? It's from the Aegean. We're going west to east. I mean, yes, yeah. from the Mediterranean, but west to east from the Aegean, stretches Through of Turkey water, etc. And after the Bosporus, the Black Sea. Well, Very well done. Yeah. Francophiles, your turn to choose. Uh, horned Viper. OK, what is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Manus, Manus. Oh, it's the Declinch. It's the Declinch, it's Manus, so it's um, um, Puella, Puella. Is it the plural, then? Puella? Yes. Manus, Manus. Is it Puella, Puella? Or Puella? Or what the form? Puella, Puella. 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 Is it plural? No, it's Puella. It's, it's right. what first? Puella, Puella. First, Puella Puellae. That is correct. And what's the reason? The declensions of uh, Latin nouns, the singular and the plural, and the first declensions, Puella, and um, the plural is Puellae with an alien. Exactly right. We'd have gone through the groups Uxor, Uxores, Amicus, Amici, and we had the example Aqua, Aquae, but a first declension noun in Latin. Coming in after one clue, you get five points. Pretty amazing in the final. Very well done. Yeah, well done. OK, that makes it a bit closer. What would you like now, Celts? Um, two reads, please. Two reads. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. Pardon? Next. Three seconds. 
3 by 3 equals 15. That is the answer. Oh, well done. And That's why, fair. David? I think that was one of yours. What's the reason? Yeah. Well, it's, it's very complicated mathematically, and I could go into it, but <laughs> I don't think we've got time. <laughs> Curses. I asked you for exactly the same reason. <laughs> a simpler way to explain it is it's the constant sum of a magic square. Yeah, so right. a square where all the numbers are arranged so that each row and column mm. adds up to the same thing. If it was 6 by 6, obviously you'd have the numbers 1 to 36. Add them all up, you get 111. Oh. 5 by 5 is 25 numbers, 16 numbers, and if you had oh, 9 oh. numbers for 3 by 3, they would all add up to 15. Very well done. Thank you. You were going to say that, weren't you? Uh, well, uh, in so many words, yes. <laughs> Francophiles, back to you to make a choice. Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. It could be southeast, south, southeast, south by southeast. Next. 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 Okay. Looks like that out the window. Um, questions. S E Q. Next, please. N O N S is S S O N S O N S E Q S O N. What are we gonna say? Three seconds. Queen. Queen. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So there's a bonus chance for the Celts. I see. Um, QR. That's not it either. It is about abbreviations. Mm. Southeast, abbreviated to S E. Yeah. Question to Q U. Enrolled nurse in many countries previously here, E N. S E Q U E N. It's the word oh. sequence. C E is what we needed at the end. <laughs> common era, common entrance, Church of England. We're literally yeah, yeah, spelling yeah. the word sequence in yeah. abbreviations. Horrible, isn't it? <laughs> OK, Celts, there is one remaining question. Water is left till last again. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. A dipter is a type of... It's a type of animals. It's an animal? Yeah, yeah. yeah. OK, so next. Yeah, so these are insects. Yes, yeah. I think it's going to be a number of legs. So I reckon it's going to be a arachnid. Um, next. Yeah. yeah. So we're next again. Lepidoptera is um, this got four butterflies. Legs, is it? Yes. Okay, so it's it's number of legs. Do you think? Uh, um, triquadruped. I know. What does Lepidoptera got? It's got four. Three seconds. Three seconds. Yeah. Got more because it's empty. Quadruped. Not the answer, I'm afraid. There's a bonus chance for you, Francophiles. Epidoptera. Not it, I'm afraid. Now it's not about legs because most of these just have two. They're flies. Yeah. We're looking at the words for true flies. Right. Ants, bees and wasps, Lepidoptera, butterflies and moths, yeah. of course. They're just types of insect genus. According to the number of species, and the largest would be Coleoptera oh, beetles. Gosh. Coleoptera. At the end of round two, then, the Francophiles have got six points. The Celts are ahead with nine. <laughs> Time for the final gruesome connecting walls of the series. Celts, you'll be going first this time. Would you like lion or water? I uh, will take lion, please. OK, you've got two and a half minutes to solve it. Starting now. OK, um... Exams, the knowledge, fever... Tripos. Tripos. Is there another one that's an exam? E oh, SAT is a SAT. SAT is a SAT. Yeah, it's an American no? one. OK. OK, higher is a higher. So let's take SAT out. OK, let's take Tripos out. Let's take uh, Viva out. Yeah, I'll love it. OK. Uh, Henry Kissinger. Was he in Dalton's last year? He won the, he won the uh, Nobel Peace Prize. Price. He's Jewish. Um, uh, Elizabeth II. Um, Adolf Hitler. The, no the Knowledge is a quiz show, isn't it? It's a, it's a, it's a play by Jack Rosenthal about taxi drivers. Oh, right, OK. Um, well, let's try it. It's a knowledge. I'm just, just yeah, struggling, yeah. but yeah. Um, the knowledge, decomposing composers, the protester. protester. No. Um, what, what about Henry Kissinger? He's interviewed by David Frost. All oh, right. Um, he hasn't been in a TV show, not, uh, not a film, I don't think. Absolutely. Absolutely. OK, I'm just going to be pressing one. Do you carry on? OK. I don't know decomposing composers. Who's with the second? Um, 
Lux is a tight air, isn't it? Right. Let's yeah, try something what, what like What is Lux? Um, uh, Lux is a tight air. Let's try something like We've got 30 seconds. Yes, spin. Finland, its flag is blue and white. Blue and white. Henry Kissinger, I don't think. Protest. No. 10 seconds now. Okay, struggling. Okay, struggling. Time is up and the wall's frozen, but you found a group. Well done, that's a point. What connects higher, SAT or SAT, Tripos, Viva or Viva? Those sorts of examinations, educational examinations. That's it. Yeah. Test of mental ability exams, yeah. quite right. Okay. You can also get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find. Okay. So, Lots of them. you're yeah. looking forward to this, aren't you? Yes. Let's resolve the wall. Finland, Henry Kissinger, Oliver Cromwell, decomposing composers. Are they all in a Cole Porter song? No, <laughs> they're Monty Python songs. Oh, right. oh, I think it's God. one of those ones you know it or you don't. Yeah, they right. are the titles of Monty yeah, Python you. songs. Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Next one, Adolf Hitler, the protester, you, Elizabeth II. Are they all mentioned in Spike Milligan books? No, they're not. Mm -hmm. Now, these are all people who've won Time magazine Person of the Year. What, the last last group. Are they the knowledge, are they ES or ES, Lux what? and Fabulous. Is it? I, I, I mean, I thought it was that they were all beauty brands or something. No, I'm afraid not. What they are, they are all past and present magazine supplements, newspaper magazine supplements. Oh, no That's what they are. They come with <laughs> newspapers. Nevertheless, not easy in the final. You did find a group and the connection, so you get two points. Okay. Okay. Time to bring in the Francophiles and give them a horrible final connecting wall with 16 horrible new clues on it. OK, Francophiles, you're going to get the water wall. You've got two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Right, Suzuki, um, OK. Types of tyre, Bridgestone tyres, maybe, or Suzuki, do they make them? Or is it Japanese companies, Suzuki? Socratic, um, Montessori, on education. What's Pim's left? That's, that's French. Montessori method, the Suzuki method of teaching the violin, okay. the Socratic mm. method of dialogue, okay. and the Twemlow on Pim's left. Oh, very good. Yeah. Okay. Well, the Canon is obviously cameras. Bristow make tyres. Needles, needle. Well, Dunkin. Darning, Darning needle. needle. Um, tapestry needle. And, um, and beloved. Three oh, strikes and you're out. Okay. Right, so they're, uh, they are Japanese companies, aren't they? Yeah. Nomura, I'll say. Canon, Canon, Canon Nomura, Nintendo, Nintendo and I think, Pro. Okay, Pro. Then before you press it, what yeah, would yeah. these be then? Tremlo, so. Is it an anagram? Are they anagrams? They're golds in French, I see. Tremlo. Can you change letters or. <laughs> well beloved or one word? Beach. What's well beloved again? Mm. Can you change any letters in the. Bridgestone, I think, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Anagram. Well beloved. Yeah. Wasn't the Mark Glenn well beloved one? No, that was a well beloved. If you change the letters, or no, there's only W's in it. Is there low love tennis scores? Beach. Yeah, something in other names. Nicknames for things. Beachy head. We Beach. better move in case we get it wrong. Yes. Well, there's a vole in there, isn't Ooh, I don't know what those are, though. No. Well, should we press it and have another thing? OK, we solved the wall. That is four points for the groups. Let's look for the connections. Suzuki, Socratic, Montessori, Pimsleur. They're teaching methods. They are pedagogical methods, teaching methods, quite right. Tapestry, Bodkin, Sharp, Darning. Types of needle. Types of needle. And you found them in the haystack. Well done. <laughs> The next group, Canon, Nintendo, Nomura, Bridgestone. They're Japanese companies. That's right, they're major Japanese companies. And the last one, Twemlow, Well Beloved, Beach and Vools. <laughs> well, I don't think we know, do we? I don't think we do know. I don't uh, think you do. They of... are people on the domestic staff at Blanding's Castle. Oh. PG Woodhouse characters, that's who they are. Uh. Okay. But okay. four points for the groups that you found and three points for the connections. That is an impressive seven. Let's see how that affects the scores going into the final round. 
The Celts have 11 points, the Francophiles have 13. And if you want to play a connecting wall, you can find them on our website, where you can also write your own, although for heaven's sake make them easier than the ones we just saw. Missing vowels time, teams. This will decide the champions of Only Connect. Fingers on buzzers, teams. The first group are all supposed hangover cures. Francophiles. Hair of the dog. Correct. Francophiles. Prairie oyster. Correct. Don't know this one. Recommended by Pliny the Elder. Raw owl's eggs. Next clue. Celts. Bacon sandwich. Correct. Next category. Two things make another thing. X and Y make Z. Francophiles. Red and blue make purple. Correct. Celts. Sodium and chlorine make salt. Correct. This one is risers and treads make stairs. Next clue. Francophiles. John and Edward make Jedward. Correct. Next category, works by Scandinavian authors. Francophiles. The girl with the dragon tattoo. Correct. Francophiles. A doll's house. Correct. This one is the red breast. Next clue. Francophiles. The ugly duckling. Correct. Next category, U terms and their non-U equivalents. Francophiles. Drawing room and lounge. Correct. Francophiles. Looking glass and mirror. Correct. Celts. Lavatory and toilet. Correct. Francophiles. Well, I think you were going to say napkin and serviette, yeah, yes, which yeah. is the answer. But the bell has rung. It means the end of the quiz. And after a brilliant and previously undefeated series, the Celts finish with 14 points. But with 22, the winner of tonight's game and of this series of Only Connect, it's the Francophiles. Very well done, that team. Very well quizzed. Thank you for playing. Thank you for coming as well. Brilliant stuff from all of you. And thank you for watching. Join me next week for, well, not for Only Connect. The series is finished. It's over. Ah, you'll just have to come round. I'll text you the address. Goodbye.